Hi, it's Donna Hagigat, CEO of the Women's Fund of Western Massachusetts, excited to present another edition of our Power Women Hour series featuring women of color entrepreneurs. This series is presented by the GEMRA Group and additional funding support comes from the Institute for Generative Leadership. This month we are featuring entrepreneur Tiana Burnett of Studio 235. Studio 235 is a collaborative workspace for the creative workforce in our region of Western Massachusetts. So we're excited to meet Tiana, find out more about what inspired her to create this space for creative folks and find out about her challenges and how we as a community can help support her. My name is Tiana Ray Burnett and this is Studio 235. It is a creative hub for emerging and established creative professionals in the Springfield area. The things that happen in the studio are some end-to-end -end production for any type of creative project. Graphic designers, podcasters, photography, videography, commercials, community organizing, programming, different types of events. I originally began as more of the artist. I kind of have gotten pulled away from that in the organizing and administrative aspect of everything. I studied art history and art management at UMass Amherst, so that's what got me into the Western Mass area. I'm not originally from here. I stayed in the area because I saw the potential of the arts in this region, and I actually started doing pop-up art shows. I would go around and do just one day pop-ups with a bunch of local and even further away artists, have some vendors involved, bringing in the local businesses and just activating different spaces. I've done about nine shows in the past two and a half years, maybe three years. I do a lot of artist calls on social media. So I'll do a quick little flyer and say, looking for artists for a show. I've kind of grown my artist network that way. Our biggest way of increasing um, and continuing on is through word of mouth. That's how we've really gained a lot of our clientele. That's how we've met new artists. I try to support these artists as much as possible. Creatives just want to create and they kind of get away from the business aspect. So my brain kind of leans more towards let's make sure everything is in line. Let's make sure everything is you know, strategically placed so that we can raise awareness and visibility for these artists. My LLC is Yellowbird Management, and that is for the administrative processes, brand development, artist management. Our first month um, that we were fully in action was February. We did an open house, I believe, on the 21st, which kind of initiated a lot of our bookings. And then March and into April, we had booked out. We had events planned, we had studio time planned, and then we got word of COVID and then the, um, the confusion, you know, I guess the anxiety around COVID prompted a lot of people to cancel. So every single one of our events canceled within three days. And um, it was a month and a half that we went with no business whatsoever. But we really used that time to button up the um, logistics of everything. So that's when we secured an LLC. We got a lot of our um, planning done. How are we actually going to manage a space to this scale? So that was important. And we really kind of needed that time. And so for us to be that busy that fast and not have had that time, I don't think we could have provided the level of production that we wanted to. There were a lot of protests throughout the summer. A lot of them were geared towards black businesses, a lot of them were Black Lives Matter movements, and so we were very involved with a lot of these things. You can't really not get involved when you're trying to be there for the community. That kind of just taught us the importance of really using our voices. The importance of voting for the people in your town is incredible because these are the people that are directly going to make changes that will affect the, your way of life. So if you want to have a small business in the middle of downtown, you need to make sure the people in office are for that type of development. And so it's these local people that are running that are really going to have your best interest in mind. So when we look at the ballot and we see who's running up for these positions, it's really important to inform yourself on who these people are and what they could do for you and your community. And just really take the necessary steps because it's as simple as showing up to the polls because nothing is is going to change unless we go forward and make that happen. As powerful and as great as Studio 235 is, it really, we've learned that there are some limitations to what we can actually offer. So in order for us to keep going and keep getting involved with our community that we have found and keep facilitating these services for everyone, a, just a more easily accessible space is probably what we're going to need. And so 
That probably looks like a downtown area with more parking, access, public transportation, just so we can, you know, just keep going and really be the creative community resource hub that this region is lacking. I am Tiana Ray Burnett on Facebook. Instagram is Trizzy, T-R-I-Z-Z-A-E. If anyone's looking to get involved, studio 235.ma, um, so dot mass on Facebook, is that's where we're located on Facebook. Any type of artist, if you want your art showcase, if you're looking to do an album release party, any type of social event, we've built this network where we can really try to facilitate in every way possible. So like marketing help, brand development, we can assist with photography, videography, graphic design, developing a small business. If you want some extra tips on that, you can reach out to us. We can do some consultations for you and just you know, try to get you on the right path and in the right direction to achieve your goals.